Um, young lives are very interesting because we normally assume that um, the, or we normally know from the evidence that children's growth, linear growth, that's to say how tall they grow in the first two years of life, is, um, is very important in determining what the child will be like, what are the child's opportunities in terms of education, their development, things in, in the future. Um, and then we think that after that, there's very little chance of recovering. So the child who's, stunt, who's, getting, who's stunted um, is, is, um, is really destined to be stunted for the rest of their life and they're at a disadvantage. So when we, when we looked at the round two data, um, we expected that, that um, because some of the children had been six months when they were enrolled, and some of them had been 18 months, the six-month children, you know, the beginning of their two-year period, um, we would expect them to have more growth retardation. And so that the, the number of children, the percentage of children who were, um, who were stunted in the second round should have been higher. And we found that it wasn't all that much higher. And that was surprising in all the countries. And that was surprising. So we went back... To the, to the data in, in Peru, and we found that um, actually there were children who were, uh, we looked at the round three data, and we found that there were children who um, had actually recovered to a certain extent, not completely, but they were not as stunted, to say not as, uh, not as low a height for their age. Um, they were, so they had recovered, and um, that was interesting. So we, and we also found that, that those children had also, to a certain extent, um, close the gap a bit in terms of cognitive development. So now we've gone back, and this is the more recent part, we've gone back and looked at the data across all the countries and found that there is a certain amount of movement, um, more than we had thought before. And some children are not following their growth trajectory, they are actually improving during their school years. And, um, and this is associated with um, you know, a better cognitive development than the children who, who have remained um, stunted. So although we still think, I mean, we still think that it's better to prevent um, and we still think that it's right to, to concentrate and, and prioritise the first two years of life, it is interesting to know that, that maybe, it's not all, maybe it's not all over and that there is a chance for, for children to recuperate a little bit at least um, during their school years.